Welcome back to Squawk Box. A new survey released today showing economists are beginning to worry about a double-dip recession. Steve Leisman joins us now with more on that. Steve. Good morning, Andrew. Yeah, the National Association for Business Economics uh, finding concern that this economy now in recession could emerge from recession and then uh, dump, dump back into recession after that. If you look at the uh, findings here, uh, 80% see at least a 25% uh, chance, and then you go up, and 32% see at least a 50% chance that once this recession ends, we go into another one. Maybe one of the reasons for this, it's not clear in the um, uh, uh, study here or the survey why they think that, but you can see that 40% believe that the uh, response of Congress so far is insufficient. 37% say it's adequate. Just 11% find the response to be excessive. Uh, looking at other findings they have, they see the recession, the current one we're in, ending sometime in the second half of this year. That's the uh, plurality of, of, of economist surveys. The economy will recover uh, the Q4 2019 level by the second quarter of 2022. We've had other surveys that we've done finding a similar thing. The fiscal package, they want to be $1.5 trillion or higher. And then the thing we've been reporting last week, which is a terrible number here, 40% of business closures will be permanent. I do want to add, though, that this uh, concern about a double-dip recession comes when our CNBC rapid update, at least for the third quarter, is tracking 25.6, call it 26%. And that's about five points higher than where we started the quarter. This is now the tracking survey. We'll see if other data we get this week and next tend to uh, uh, put that back towards the 20% level. But it's a pretty good rebound looking here, Andrew, uh, at least in the tracking data we have. And yet uh, I'm reporting here that these economists are concerned about this right. double-dip recession. Andrew? So, so, Steve, though, just walk us through what they think could cause the double-dip recession. Sort of what, what, what are the, the, the pieces of this that they're thinking about? So, in general, um, recessions are caused by policy mistakes, one or the other. Um, either you have a downturn in aggregate demand, and then you don't respond correctly fiscal-wise. So I think the fiscal response is one area. I think a precipitous uh, uh, turn, of course, of the Federal Reserve and its monetary policy could cause it. And obviously, I, I, this may be, and most importantly, a proxy for uh, a second wave of the virus, Andrew, that that would be the sort of thing that would cause. You could see that the economy would come back. I'll be looking later this week again, Andrew, at the high-frequency data. I was letting it mature a little bit uh, to see how uh, it handled the, um, down, the, the, the end of the unemployment insurance uh, and some of the other uh, uh, aspects that have been going on with the virus. And I'll take a look at it this week. My, my latest read is that it had been stable to slightly down. I'm trying to see if uh, it comes back a little bit with uh, some of the... Uh, decline in the virus numbers. But I think the second wave of the virus is probably the most likely thing that would uh, cause a, yeah. another recession. 